I will not sing, but Broadway comes to the big screen with Dear Evan Hansen. I'm perfectly cast as Evan's witty friend as actor and comedian Nick Dodani. I mean, they think you're lovers. You realize that, right? Oh, my God. I thought you were going to tell him the truth. I, I, I tried, but then I just, I got nervous and I started talking. And then once I started, I just couldn't stop. They didn't want me to stop. What else did you say to them? His mom thinks that we wrote emails to each other. Oh, perfect. She thinks he had, like, secret accounts? Ha, huh, yes. Secret email accounts. That's what all the cool kids are doing. Hanson, Cal Wani, pick it up! No, thank you. What was that? I said thank you for the encouragement. Who doesn't need a wise-cracking Bessie like Jared Kalwani, played by our next guest, who many of us also know as the Heat on Atypical. Please welcome the oh-so-brilliant Nick Dodani to the show! Hello. Good, good morning. morning, Nick. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so I was telling you earlier in the break that I did see the movie last night. It's a miracle I did not choke on my corn on the cob because I don't know if it's the tears, <laughs> me holding back the tears or what, but it's so uplifting. And this was a Grammy award-winning musical. It won Tony's, now getting the big screen treatment. So for those who are not familiar with it, what's the storyline in a nutshell? Yes, so the story follows uh, Evan Hansen, who is a high school teenager who has severe anxiety, struggles with depression, um, doesn't have any friends or many friends. And it's about him getting caught up in a lie that spirals out of control. Um, and and the fallout from that. I don't want to give too much away don't, and don't. spoil anything. I yeah. know. That's why I made you do it. So in case people start protesting and yelling at you, it's you they're yelling at and not me. But and then not he, you. I know, right? So it's you. But you're more lovable, so they'll probably take it easy on you. You know what I mean? I, on the other side, hand, I don't know. Well, but first of all, Nick, as we saw in that clip, you and Evan are close, but it's an interesting friendship, or should we say family friendship, because your, your character is quick to specify what you guys are. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think they're a lot closer than Jared lets on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Jared's one of those kids that he thinks he's a lot cooler than he really is. And so he, he gets a little embarrassed by Evan. Um, but they're 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 homies. At the end of the day, they're homies. I know. I know they are. And you can tell. And you, I, you we feel like you're everyone's homie, though. You, Nick, I sort of got like every single time I see I was like, that kid needs to be my friend or oh, that dude because you know, you play kids. But that dude needs to be my friend. So just in case. Let's be friends. Uh, well, you don't have to ask me twice. We are already friends. You're the one who's going to be complaining <laughs> that I'm stalking you. And that's just going to be your problem because you asked for this, Nick. But the singing I in did. this movie is out of, out of this world. If I had skills like Ben Platt and the rest of the cast, I would, my life would be a musical. Do you have any singing, rapping, or humming skills? I, I don't. <laughs> I, I will admit. I, um, I don't. Uh, I, I make jokes. Um, and uh, in order to help with, um, with that skill gap, uh, the, um, uh, the music team put together private lessons for me for the, for the film. So I had a crash course from some of the best from Broadway. And I was able to, able to get away with it, I think. Mm -mm, no, no. You, you are perfection in whatever you do. And by the way, not just in the acting or singing or the humming, but also fashion-wise. Because after I saw this picture of you on the red carpet, I was like, why was he not at the Met Gala? Are you kidding me? You would have <laughs> killed it. Killed it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Some I people tried. are asking if they can borrow that, Nick. Um, I had to borrow it, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will get back to you. Uh, muchacha, he will get back to you. But so what is your style like? Are you more like, because I see you're wearing a hoodie now. What's like your everyday style like? Are you always fully like fashionista mode or? Uh, I, it depends. It depends how lazy I am in the morning. Um, I feel like when I'm in New York, though, where, where I'm in New York right now, and I feel like I'm usually always wearing all black. It's just mm. the city. The city has a really has an effect on me in that way. Oh. Um, you know, but you know, if we're doing events and we're going out, I try to I try to spice things up. You're in New York right now. Good to know. Good to know. My stalking spidey sense is like all over the place. But see, here's the deal. When we heard you were coming on, Dan and I were like, oh my God, Zahi, because we, we know you from the hit Netflix series Atypical. You also do voiceovers and stand up, just killing it. Which brings me to your parents, because Nigerian parents and Indian parents, same thing. So when you're like, Mom, Dad, I'm gonna go into Hollywood thing, they're like, what? Uh, shockingly very 
chill about it. Very supportive. Um, my dad growing up was very much like, do whatever uh, makes you happy as long as you can pay the bills. Uh -huh. And my mom uh, was actively encouraging me to do this because I think she herself has dreams of stardom and, and wants to... Uh, wants to live vicariously through me a little well, bit. Well, it's not too late. It's not too late. She can do it in Bollywood. It's not she too can late. do it in Hollywood. She can do it in Nollywood. Everywhere. She has her... Yeah. Actually, she moved, she moved to Mumbai a few years ago to, to pursue a Bollywood career. See, Bollywood is my jam. Tell her, can I come move in with her? Because that I grew up watching. I know all, like, Bollywood movies. I know all the songs. Home oh, amazing. Kam Nahi, a Ama yes. Akbar Anthony, Cooley. I'm telling you, Sunita and Vikram story, my, I love that story. So, oh my God, love. Right? So next time you come back, we'll talk about maybe you helping me in Bollywood, although I can't sing. And then we're going to talk about the salon. And then we're going to talk about all the great things you have coming up because we love you and we know there's so much more to come. All right, Nick? Cool. All Thank right, bestie. You. See you soon. You guys can see, see my soon. new best friend, Nick, in Dear Evan Hansen. It hits theaters next Friday, September 24th. Go support my bestie. Bye, bestie. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, Bessie. Love you. Love you more. <laughs> See you. Bye. Don't call the cops when I show up at wherever you are in New York. Bye-bye.